Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is the second lecture of this graph theory series part two. In this lecture, we are going to implement and solve a problem taken from Hackerth, and we are going to implement Kruskal's algorithm to find the MST. So, if you remember, or this is for recap, so you are given a graph. Uh, this time it is weighted, so each edge is having a certain weight associated with it. So you have to find a tree such that the graph is still connected. It contains all the vertices from the graph and after removing some of the edges, the the new formed graph must be a tree and uh, some of the weights of the edge, uh, edges must be minimum. So if you see, this is MST of this graph with I guess some of the edges as 27. Now, so the uh, Kruskal's algorithm says that uh, take all the input and then sort the input based on the uh, weights of the edges. So after sorting, this is the edge list. After that, we are going to implement it using, of course, DSU. And for each edge in the edge list, uh, the edge A, B, W, where A and B are the nodes and W is the weight of the edge. If parent of A is not equal to parent of B, this is basically if find of A is not equal to find of B in disjoint set. So what this indicates, if they both have different parent, then they are in two different components. If they are in two different components, then we need this edge. In that case, we would first merge both of those component or basically we would merge both of those sets. And we would also increment the total sum by W because this edge costs w and otherwise we would simply continue or basically we would avoid this edge because they are already connected so this is how we are going to implement uh, kruskal's using dsu that is disjoint set union if you haven't studied dsu yet you can check out the link in the description where uh, i have given the link for the uh, playlist of dsu so first go and check out how dsu works and then continue so let's look at the problem that we will be solving this is the problem from hacker earth and this is minimum spanning tree you are given n and m in the first line of input which are number of nodes and number of edges and then there are m edges in the form of abw and you have to tell the weight sum of the edges of mst so this is the problem we'll be solving so let's start coding so first of all we need an adjacency list uh, this time since we need we don't need adjacency list in fact uh, for the edges we need to store all the edges so that we can sort them so let's create a structure and call it edge it would contain a b and w now uh, since the number of edges can be as large as 10 power 5 i guess yeah 10 power 5 so let's take an array of edges uh, edge let's call it ar you can call it edge list or whatever you want 10 power 5 so 10 power 5 edges now after that we need n m a b and w so first you would read n and m number of nodes and number of edges and then oh yeah since we are going to use disjoint set we also need one thing that is parent array so int parent array the number of nodes are transpar 4 only so we need an array of transpar transpar 4 now we only need i guess parent array yeah we are not going to use a, a in disjoint set there are two compression techniques one is path compression we will be using path compression and not a union by rank the reason uh, in the in the playlist of dsu i haven't explained uh, union by rank so i'll not be using union by rank i'll only be using path compression so uh for each node 
we must initialize the parent parent of i is equals to minus one indicating this is the representative of is or basically set size is currently uh one we have initialized it and now for each edge we'll be reading a b and w and after that let's just take a b and w this is this is the edge after that just a second zero since we have to save this in the array this array this array would contain all the edges so instead of going that ar of i dot a a yeah and ar of i dot b and ar of i dot w so we are di uh, directly reading the input in the uh, ar array so ar of 0 would contain first edge ar of 1 and so on all the edges we are saving in this uh, ar array now after that we need to sort ar ar plus m because there are m edges and this sort function is provided by uh, c plus plus stl that is standard uh, standard template library so i think this this is under uh, algorithm dot h header file after that uh, since now we are using structures and we want to sort the structure array so we we must provide a comparator function as well so let's call it cump now the comparator function takes two uh, two arguments a and b both of type edge reason because we are sorting edge array the array which contains edge that is why uh, the sort function would use this comparator function to identify which element to put first and which element to put later so it would be taking two uh, it would be having two inputs in its uh, basically in pa parameter list a and b so if you return true from here then a would be placed before b if you return false then b would be placed before a so when we should return true if a dot w since we have to uh, sort according to weight so if a dot w is less than b dot w so weight of a is less than weight of b so of course a should be placed before b so you would return true otherwise return false so now the sorting would be done after the sorting so so now we have sorted the array after that for each edge we would traverse and check whether they lie in the same sort uh, same set or not so for each edge less than m i plus plus if uh, let's just a is equals to find a r of a this is the ith edge dot a b is equals to find a r of i dot b so this is basically we are finding their parent of a and b this is from uh dsu uh from dsu this this function find you should know from dsu lecture so it takes a parameter a if parent of a is double equal to minus one then this is the parent so we would return a otherwise now here we are going to apply path compression return par parent of a is equals to find parent of a this is find function uh, along with a path compression so you must know it from a uh, dsu lecture series so now we have uh, a parent of a and parent of b so if a is not equals to b that means parents are different that means they both lie in different set in that case oh we have to define a sum in this in that case sum would increment by a r of i dot w which means we have to include this edge and we also have to merge both these sets otherwise we have to do nothing and finally see out total sum after processing all the edges 
now we have to also define this merge function which is basically union function of uh, union find data structure now a and b are parents itself so if a yeah a and b are different in this case that's why we are calling merge function so simply just do this parent of a is equals to b that's all i think this should work so i can't save it here this is for hacker earth hacker earth challenge just for now so this is the input let's copy this and see whether we got any error just just a second i need to include a header file i always forget dot h and then before i start anything i need to increase the console window size and this should work if i don't have any error this was the only error so this should work copy all this okay now this is the input and the answer is 19 as you can see so let's submit this and first run for sample test cases so ah sorry again don't know why I just just a second I need to remove this and also this error file now it should be so green color which means sample test cases are passing uh, the only thing I fear is I may get TLE yeah so the problem is solved we get an AC so how did we solve it let's go through it again first uh, we created a structure to store the edges and then since there were like transfer five edges in the worst case in the input so we took an array of size tens power 5 and then this is a parent array for uh, for dsu now this comparator function was defined so that sort uh, we can sort the uh, array containing structure so if you are using structure or classes you want to sort them then you have to provide a comparator function so we provided comparator function so that uh, sort function can use and to determine which element to put first and which element to put second or just relationship between them after that this is find function and you should know it from dsu or uh, dsu lecture series so if parent of a is equals to minus one say so a is itself parent otherwise parent of a would be updated and this is basically path compression and in merge we have to do nothing basically parent of a is equals to b or parent of b is equals to a both things are same i'm not applying here of uh, union uh, union by rank and after that we are simply initializing all the parent to be minus one so that each element it parent of itself we are reading edges sorting them and for each edge one by one we are finding the parent of both the nodes and we are testing whether uh, they are equal or not if they are not equal which means they lie in the different set which means we need to include this edge in our mst and that is why the sum needs to be updated by w and a and b must be merged and after processing all of this we can print the sum so this was all uh, about the implementation of cruise scales and we saw also solve a problem so i hope you have learned something from it if you have any query or or any problem you can uh, simply just post a comment in in the comment section so thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you